Alright guys, well this is a sequel to my other video where I showed you how to get videos on your iPod off of YouTube. Well now I'm going to show you how to get DVDs that you have at home onto your computer and then put that onto your iPod. Alright, so we're going to be using a program called Magic DVD Ripper. It can be downloaded at magicdvdripper.com. You go to the free download, like I'm going to right now, and click... I have something called D DTA which means download them all and it just makes you download your stuff faster so there there you go alright and see there's a setup run the setup quite simple um I got all this vista crap oh my god I swear if you guys ever get vista I'm so sorry it's gotta be the worst thing ever uh, do all the accept things, pick a place to put it, and then create desktop item if you want, um, and then it's going to install it for you. Installation doesn't take that long. I mean, it's a pretty good program, and the installation doesn't take that long. Eh. So, once you're done, it'll say launch it, so you click finish, and it will bring up the Magic DVD Ripper, I believe. Crappy Vista probably won't. Alright, there you go. Once you bring this up, I see I have zero uses left with it. What you're going to want to do is you're going to go to YouTube and type in the URL I have up top here. I'll put it in the uh, description. Basically, you go to the more info and it gives you a code and a name, a username to use. So basically just copy and paste that over to the register. So you copy it, go over to Magic DVD, go to register, copy and paste your register code and username. Username is going to be Teen Crude, and the code is this really weird screwed up thing. Um, you go and paste that, and then you click OK, and it says register succeeded. Thank you for purchasing Magic DVD River. So you have the full version for free. Alright, once you're done with that, you're going to put in a DVD. I'm not going to because like I really don't have one on me right now. But basically, you select the output folder and you can put it anywhere you want. I usually just put it in uh, the thing I use for the uh, TubeTilla download and I put it in the MP4 file. Um, it takes a while. It's about, depending on the length of the video, for like the ones I use were red versus blue videos they were about maybe 35 minutes for the download and um so basically you just wait for that to download and it'll be in the file that you do and then you just drag and drop it onto your iTunes alright so you're what you're gonna do is you're going to close everything out once it's done it'll you hear this really weird beeping noise and then go find the folder that you put it in I put it in YouTube vids um, and then my MP3 folder, MP4 folder, excuse me. Oh, what was that? All right, whatever. And you'll have all these things here. You look for the one like RVB season three. You take it and you drag it into your iTunes. Drop it into the movie section, and you'll have it right there. So, and it's really pretty much that simple. I mean, you get all your DVDs, you can take them and put them on your computer and then just download them onto your iPod. And they actually, it actually has pretty good quality too. I really like this program. Um, it doesn't look good on the computer, of course, but on your uh, iPod, it looks actually really good. Alright, so that's like Sharpshooter94 showing you how to put DVDs on your iPod. I'll see you guys with my next video. See you later.